yeah, some of it. No, tonight's booking atrocious, absolutely atrocious. Not and not that the wrestling was so bad, but um, yeah. When the we third get to the hour, sh- the third hour of this show tonight was, I thought it was very good, except for the booking. I mean, the title the booking, change and account no, no, was no, no, stupid. No. I, I didn't really have a problem with the show, but the booking over and over. It's like it was like okay, like last. With here's the thing, last week's show there were a couple of things that happened, and the week before, where I was going like, okay, this stuff. It doesn't make sense, but maybe, maybe in a week or two, they'll tie it in and it makes sense. Okay, now we've had it. Now, Kyrie, Kyrie Sane's gone, okay? So that made no sense, her beating. He, she beats Bailey in a non-title match, never gets a title match. Now she's gone. What, Bailey's the champion. What, what sense does that make? Why did the Street Profits win a non-title match over Andrade and Garza when they were going to defend the title at SummerSlam against Andrade and Garza? I mean, that, it's like, I can't even, I can't even begin, like, that's like, if there's this term booking 101, this is booking negative 101. It's just like, what is, I, I can't even, I, I mean, like, it just boggles my mind that, like, you know, and Bruce, again, Bruce has been around the business forever, and, and it's, you know, and I know it's Vince, okay? Well, I mean, it's, Vince has been around the business forever as well, and he's completely incompetent at booking at this point. I don't get, I don't get, I don't get Vince at all. I mean, at all, because... Of all people, I mean that this is stuff that like you just you know, um, I I I just don't understand. I mean it's like you can say, and it's true. Okay, so here's the thing: you can say, you know what though, well that really doesn't matter, and you know what it really doesn't. But the problem of the reason it doesn't is what because the, whoa, it wins. Whoa, whoa. what do you mean? What does it? What does it? It matter? doesn't mean it's not. Gonna, it's not gonna. It's it's like it's not gonna. It, it, if they did it quote right, the numbers aren't going to be appreciably different because I think you're a, wrong. No, no, because there's the, the reason is is because they've already taught us that wins and losses don't matter. So in fact, they don't matter. And be, but by having them not matter, you've you know you've basically taken away the interest in because what does it matter? Yeah, like so if, you got to build that back up again. You got to start over. You got to start. Yeah, educating no kidding. People. Like, yeah, obviously, well, if they change everything this week or next week, it's no, not going to make take any months. difference in two weeks. It's going to take a long time. It's going to take months to teach these fans. But, and I mean, I don't the know incompetence that... in the booking is one of the main reasons this show is doing so poorly. In in certain ways. I don't I don't necessarily think the winning and the losing incompetence is, is why the show is doing so badly. I do think that things like that... Um, the, the the finish of the um, Oscar Kyrie Sane match, which is a different kind of booking, that's like because because that booking, you know, with the count out and the cheap finish and the the heel steals the title and and the face gets wronged and everything like that, that is 1980s booking. That is old school 1970s booking. But this audience, like I was around in the 70s and 80s, and you could do that and you would actually get heat. Now when you do that, people just go fuck this. You know, we watched a, t- a 17 minute match and it's not hardcore. Okay. People go, Oh, oh, the hardcores are ruining. No, no, you know, like they're too smart. No. If you watch, I mean, there's no fans in the stands. Okay. In this match. So you can sort of get away with it in a different way because, but you and I both know, and it's happened for the last how many years? Seven years or so. Whenever it was when the audience turned. Okay. It was all, it was years and years ago. Whenever you do those cheap DQs, they don't have heat on the heel. People just groan. It's like, fuck this. And it's like, at a certain point, I mean, it took freaking, you know, all Japan and New Japan. It took them months after they started getting their ass kicked by do- when they were doing the bad finishes to go, you know what? There's a reason we're getting our, our, our ass kicked by UWF because they're giving finishes and we're not. And all the fans were saying it's because they're giving the finishes. Every single match, we know we're getting a finish and we know we're getting a decisive finish. And you're doing double count outs when, when you have top guys against each other. And they stopped doing it for the most part. I mean, there's always exceptions, but for the most part, you very rarely see DQs and count and, and double count outs. And you have to do them on occasion, on rare occasions to prove that you do them. But it's not like every single big match is not going to be a double count out in, in New Japan or, or any of the Japanese groups because it doesn't work anymore. And it, it did work in the 60s and 70s and it stopped working and even in the, and in the 80s as well. And in the United States in the 60s and 70s, um, there were places where this stuff 
you know, would get heat and you would go like, oh, that freaking Sasha Banks and Bailey stole that championship. And I can't wait for Asuka to get her rematch. But now when you do it, the reaction is not that. The reaction is, oh, God, these two were having a good match. And then we had another screwed finish, just like that last pay-per-view. And them not understanding. And the audience will tell you. It's like, all you got to do, this is the most frustrating thing. All you got to do is listen to the audience. If the audience is hot and, and buying rematches off of that, then it's like, okay, that's what you do. When they stop doing that and they're mad at, at these kind of finishes, it's easy. You just don't do them anymore. It's not, you know, it's not, it's like, and, and they're, and that's the thing. It's like, okay, so these guys are creatures of another generation. And in that generation, what they did in that match is fine. It ain't that generation anymore. And you can't teach these fans that generation because it was your generation. And it was my generation, too. I mean, like, again, if this finish would have happened in 1985 and I'm watching this, it's like, cool, great finish. Builds up, you know, I want to see Asa get a rematch, blah, 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 blah. This audience, that in, that's not the reaction. 1985 was 35 years ago. I don't think that, you know, when they're, you know, again, Bruce is pretty much my age. Vince is, what, about 15 years older than me? So, I mean, I know where they're coming from. I get it. And they're, you know, but they did not adapt. And that, you know, again, watching this show, um, um, that, 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 that finish was just hitting me. And it's just like, you did not adapt. And it's not like the fans started turning last week or last month. This was years and years ago. So anyway, that's the, um, that's the issue. And you know, you don't have to do it. I mean, you know, has AEW ever done a, a title change like that yet? You know, where you get counted out. Someone wins because, the title on a count out? No. No. So, I mean, there is outside interference, but they're still going to do a pin at the end. And I think that, again, and, and they probably do too much outside interference. I think everyone does too much outside interference. It becomes a crutch. I mean, New Japan does. Everyone does. I'm not saying you never do it, um, but I think everyone does it too much. Uh, but, you know, again, even like with New Japan, when you do the outside interference, you're still not, you're still never going to see the, the title change hands with, with with that kind of thing where you're beating somebody up and they show it on the screen and Asuka's got to make her call on, do I go for the title or do I save my friend? And it ends up she loses the title and she doesn't save her friend, so she blew it in both cases. And, you know, that was that.